Hi, so welcome. So in this video, we are going to solve another example, a very interesting example. So let us look at it. I framed this myself, so I find it pretty interesting. Okay, three helium atoms are placed on the vertices of a right triangle as shown in the figure. Okay, so we have this right triangle ABC. Okay, and this is phi. This angle is phi. Angle A is phi. Angle C is noted at theta. And this AB has an interesting value. It's a uh, twelve mu meters, and mu is uh, mu stands for micro, and one micrometer. So it's you noted know, one mu meter is ten to the power minus six meters. So very very small value. That's why we chose helium atoms. Okay, and why helium? Because see, helium atoms are not going to really attract or you know they are going to they are not going to form bonds with each other. So and their sizes are very small, so we can neglect them. Uh, you know the size of the diameter may be in some Armstrong is 10 to the power minus 10 meters or something, so we can neglect the, that size to uh, 5 micrometers. Okay, and then we need to evaluate sine phi cos theta plus cos phi sine theta in the first part. So, you know what do we do? What do we don't have in this triangle? We don't have the hypotenuse in this triangle. Now we can easily solve for hypotenuse, right? So we need the we know the Pythagoras theorem. The h square, okay, this one. H square is p square plus b square. Okay, so it's twenty five. And this is this is a p in this case. So one hundred forty four mu square meter square. Okay, or you can you know write the bracket and. Hmm. This is the base, so 25 mu meter square. They're both the same, you know, just write, expand the brackets and all. I mean, this will give us the square of the hypotenuse. So we get it as 169 mu meter square. You can do this on your own. Okay. And then we get the h, the hypotenuse, as, the, as its root. Of course, okay, root 169 micrometer square. So you can have two roots, okay? You can have a plus root and positive and a negative root. So of course, in this, uh, because the distances cannot be negative, we are taking the positive root in this case, and we can say the hypotenuse is thirteen micrometers. So we can write this as okay, thirteen micrometers. So we solve for h, and now let's go for the first part. So in the first part we have sine phi cos theta plus cos phi sine theta. Now the key ones amongst you might notice this as an as a formula, but let's not do this in the formula method. Uh, let's stick to our basics which we know. So sine phi again, what's sine phi? Uh, perpendicular upon hypotenuse. So perpendicular to the uh, if we look from phi's point of view, then CB will be the perpendicular and then sine phi okay so let me write this sine phi will be 5 micrometer upon 13 micrometers and these micrometers cancels out we get a ratio and ratio doesn't have any units so sine phi is 5 by 13 so 5 by 13 then what is cos theta cos theta is base upon hypotenuse so if you look again from theta's point of view bc will be the base so into bc this is the base upon hypotenuse hypotenuse is 13 the micrometers cancel so then we need to add this to cos phi sine theta so add cos phi now see if we again look from phi's point of view the base will be ab so cos phi will be base upon hypotenuse 12 upon 13 and then sine of theta what will be sine of theta again this will side will be perpendicular if we talk from uh, angles theta okay perpendicular upon hypotenuse so into 12 upon 13 easy enough now you can solve this so we get as 25 upon 1 uh, sorry 169 plus 144 upon 